Want to get your kids out of the house this summer? Every summer, we try to get out of the house and take a few spontaneous road trips. Last summer, we decided to follow 70 D-Day veterans as they flew to their memorial in Bedford, Virginia. With about 24 hours notice, we packed up our van and drove all night to get to Virginia so that we could be there and enjoy the pomp and circumstance of the 70th D-Day Memorial. So if you want a few ways to make a fun, spontaneous summer road trip, here's a few tips. Number one, don't tell them until the last minute. Literally, the last minute. That way they won't be up and begging you, when are we leaving, when are we leaving? That kind of stuff can really drive you nuts. Mom, when are we leaving? Mom, when are we leaving? Tip number two, let them pack their own backpack. Saves you the trouble and you'd be amazed at the things they think to bring. Make it fun all along the way. We like to look up the different names and the sections that the highways are named after. Sometimes there's some pretty interesting stories behind those names. Some of the things I really like about going on road trips is spending a lot of time with my family and watching my brothers pack up a lot of things. One of the things I find funny about road trips is that we're all sandwiched in the back row, so we all get to sleep on each other for however long it takes. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> So as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of planning and you don't have to stress out to have a really great road trip with your kids. With a little bit of planning and a heart to have fun, you're gonna make some great memories along the way. I'm Liette Reback, Mom 15, gotta go.